The following Fatal 4-Way Contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring. From Mushiki, Bahamas, weighing in at 221 pounds, Adam Rose. This guy will settle for nothing short of a victory here tonight. You know I'd pick a winner, but I only have a 25% chance of getting it right. And I don't like those odds. And approaching the ring from Newcastle upon Tyne, weighing in at 194 pounds, Neville! What a reaction from the WWE Universe! I can't hear myself think! Fans, when you're sitting at home and drawing up those fantasy wrestling cards, you're crazy if you don't put this one on it. From Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 221 pounds, Curtis Axel. Well, this superstar has all the tools needed to win this one. Now let's see if he can put them together. This guy certainly has his game face on. Beating him tonight is not going to be easy. It's never easy. And approaching the ring, residing in Hollywood, California, weighing in at 221 pounds, Damian Mizdow. You know, sometimes a superstar just has that look in his eye, and this is one of those times. The fans here in Rosemont haven't stopped buzzing all night, and I don't anticipate that changing with this match. And here we go in this Anything Goes match. Oh, man, am I ready for this? Looking good now. Oh, and he missed that one. God, that's got to hurt. Yeah, you're not doing any damage with swings like that, but keep doing it. The freeze may give him a cold. Wow, if he keeps this up, this could be over quick. This 
just gets worse. We talk about separation in an implement connects again. One of the most punishing finishers in WWE is Curtis Axel's hangman face buster. Axel works over his opponent's neck and back the entire match and then executes this maneuver. It looks so gruesome that I'm always amazed Axel's opponents are able to get up from it when the match is over. Well, on the topic of Curtis Axel here, tell us your thoughts. Well, luckily the body hasn't absorbed too much of an attack up to this point. Neville is making his presence known. Well, the trick sometimes when you get outside the ring is survival. The match becomes almost secondary when you get near all these dangerous objects. We're looking at complete domination here. Look out what's going on here. Hang on. The shoulders are down. Man, that got him good. He landed a perfectly placed strike. That'll send the message to your adversary, all right. Right, and the message reads P-A-I-N. We've seen Curtis Axel utilize the DDT and perfect flex in the past as finishing moves. So what does that tell you about the power behind the hangman's face buster? Just take a look at what happens to an opponent's limp body after being on the receiving end of it. Yeah, Michael, the hangman's face buster is a brutal, brutal finisher. I mean, you can actually hear the skull of Axel's opponent hit the canvas. Seeing them laying there motionless on the mat is definitely a disturbing image, especially because Axel gloats about it afterwards. Neville is looking to fly. Warm up the buses. This one's over. I don't like how slow he is to react right now. Fighting from a position of full health here. Don't mistake Adam Rose's colorful and carefree personality for stupidity. I mean, this guy knows exactly what he's doing in the ring. I particularly like how he zeroes in on the head from almost the opening bell. That's so smart. Neville is making his presence known. Oh, out here you have to be able to think on your feet lightning fast. One mistake, one moment of hesitation, and you can find yourself in a world of hurt. Oh, a face buster! That'll cause some damage. He's showing no signs of letting up. Oh, Adam Rose unable to be contained. We're looking at complete domination here. Here we go. Get him back. Adam Rose makes the cover. Back in the ring again. Good. Keep it in the ring, guys. You know, getting back to Adam Rose targeting the head, he does that, of course, to soften up his opponent for his patented party foul. I can't tell you how many victims have suffered the same thing.